Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the git commit command, which is the command we actually use to make a commit using whatever changes we have previously staged. But before we actually run the command, and I definitely recommend you don't run git commit just yet, I'll explain why. Before we run it, we need to discuss commit messages. Whenever we make a commit, Git expects us to include a message that describes or summarizes the changes included in that snapshot in the given commit. For example, when I grouped together these files, the navbar changes, I staged them. When I committed in this example, I added a message, add branded navbar. Or here, I changed three files, I staged them, I committed with the message, add team members to about page. So we'll talk more about writing good commit messages and what makes a good commit message. But for now, just know that a commit message should summarize the changes included in that commit. So over here, uh, on our first novel, the project that I've been working on, these two files, these two changes, are really just the creation of those files. So a, a commit message might be something like start novel or initialize characters and outline or begin work on characters and outline. Nothing super detailed because it's a very minor commit. So now let's talk about actually running the git commit command. And again, I want to emphasize, I recommend you don't run it just yet. This is one option, git space commit. And this will make a commit with whatever changes have been staged. However, it's going to try and use your default editor, whatever your default editor is on your machine. And most or many students don't have one configured, which is problematic because it will open up in something called Vim, which is a very, very not beginner friendly, very crazy, confusing editor in your terminal. And if you don't know how to get out of Vim, it can be very confusing. Um, if you happen to get in there, it's colon Q will get you out of there. Anyway, I don't recommend you run this yet. There's another variant. Rather than git commit, which will pop up your editor and ask you for your message, we can just give git the message at the same time. So this dash m flag, git commit dash m, and then we pr uh, provide a message in quotes, git will use that message that we provide and make a commit with it, rather than this flavor, which asks us for a message as a secondary step. At the end of the day, there is no difference in the generated commit, assuming you type the same message. It's just two different ways of getting to that same destination. So I always recommend beginners start with this. Uh, you don't have to configure an editor. You don't have to worry about Vim or another text editor. All you do is provide your message and hit enter. Okay, so dash M, I believe it stands for message, or at least that's what I tell myself it stands for. It makes sense. Uh, git commit dash M and then a message. So let's try it over here. Uh, I have my, my changes are staged. I'm ready to make my first commit. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Git commit dash M and then something simple that summarizes what I've done in this commit. How about something like start work on outline and basic characters or maybe just main characters? Sure. Start work on outline and main characters and then I'll hit enter. Okay. So now what happens here? Well, let's type git status. This is what I saw a moment ago. Changes to be committed, no commits yet. Now when I type git status, nothing to commit, working tree clean. So this phrase, working tree clean, means that basically everything I've done in my folder, in the working directory, git knows about and git has been tracking and it, it's up to date. Everything is in sync. But as soon as I change a file, the working tree is no longer clean, which is not a bad thing, but yeah, that's all that it means. So I've now made my very first commit, first of many. In the next video, we'll continue by adding and committing and adding and committing. We'll get more practice. I'm going to stop this video here just to keep it brief, uh, but just to reiterate, when we make a commit, we provide a message. I recommend for now using the dash M flag to provide the message in line. Otherwise, if you use the regular old git commit command, uh, you can run into some trouble if you haven't configured your editor. And I'll include a video to show you how to configure that uh, if you're interested, but it's not something you need to worry about for now. Whatever message you do provide should summarize the changes that are included in the commit. And later on, I'll have a video on best practices for commit messages. So that's it for this video. Next up, we'll get more practice doing the same process. Change something, add, commit.